All right, what's going on guys? This is Drop It Like It's Scott, and we are here today at the Palmetto State Armory booth, and we have some glorious pieces of machinery for you guys to check out, and one of those is a... This is actually an SGG-44. SGG-44, okay. I so this is a SGG-44 reproduction. Right. It's an 8 mil Kurtz, 762 by 39, 556, and 300 blackout. Different calendars are available. Under the handguard is a castle nut, so it's actually user convertible between calendars. Okay. A few small differences from the original, uh, these are threaded half 28 and 5H24, so it's more accessible for a modern suppressor attachment. Uh, the trigger pack is an HK trigger pack and not about 214 components like the original was. It's kind of a nightmare. Uh, the trigger, the magazine pattern is actually a Stanag magazine, so it's compatible with AR mags if you're in 5.56, it'll work with all those. Uh, other than that, it's, it's same weight, same length, same size as the original. It looks amazing. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's a bit heavy. Yeah, she's a, she's got a lot of personality. <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We had a knockover. <laughs> Check this out. This is, this is wicked. So it's all stamp sheet metal and cut parts. It's as produced as they were years and years and years ago. <laughs> That's insane. That's so cool. Now, like I said, it, it is a bit heavy, but that doesn't matter. Not at all. Uh, super soft shooting, it functions on what's called constant recoil, so the bottom the bolt carrier never bottoms out, and because it's so heavy, yeah. it's super smooth, easy to shoot. I would assume that it's super flashy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's crazy. Awesome. So this is something you guys are going to have to check out. Palmetto State Armory. I'll leave a link to Palmetto State Armory on my website because the YouTube overlords don't like it when I put links to gun manufacturers on there. So check over to the website, dropitnation.com. Check this out. All right, guys. We're, we're back again here at Palmetto State, and we've got some more jackal information for you guys. we got Matt here with us, and he is going to uh, give you a rundown of some of the jackals and the different different uh, features of them so I'll let you take it over sir so uh, everyone's already kind of familiar with the pre-existing models we got 10 and a half inch 556 eight and a half inch 300 blackout both of these are on the market right now long stroke piston fits any mil spec AR 15 lower right um, but you know they're doing really well we decided to try to expand the line so here's a couple of the new offerings that we're gonna have hopefully this year uh, we got 13.7 pin and weld 556 so that 13.7 pin and weld brings it out to a 16 inch long barrel so you can put any kind of folding stock on the back of it without having to go through the whole NFA process right on this 13.7 just above we have our ESA stock that we're going to be selling with these rifles. It's a folding stock that uh, you will have the option to buy on the Jackal. Above it, we've got the 16 inch Jackal. Again, 16 inch length barrel, so it will come with a folding stock. Going to come on over here. We have some of our different new caliber offerings that we're looking at doing this year. Uh, the first one is going to be a 762 by 39 Jackal. And this Jackal is going to run on our KS47 lower and is going to take the Rock and Lock AK Mag. Now the first offering is going to be 762 by 39. We're looking at the possibility of going to a 545 in a later date. We got two length 9mm Jackals here. One is a 4 inch with a recessed flash pan. The other one is a 6 and a half inch 9mm Jackal. Now these are going to run on our ARV lowers. So they're going to take the 35 round Scorpion mags and they're going to have the same controls as both our ARV and our AKV. Uh, we're going to release them first and delay them. Alright, so now we're going to cover some AKs from Palmetto State Armory. we got Colton with us right now and he's going to show you some of the new AKs and some of the ones that are super popular. Hey guys, this is our uh, Type 56. This is our Spiker. Um, this one has been, we released this a few months ago, it's been uh, really popular. Um, we brought this concept out a few years ago and the original concept was just to have a uh, AKM with a spike bayonet. Everybody loved it, but the feedback was, I'm going to do a real Type 56. So we went back to the drawing board since we got home, reviewed it, figured out what we needed to do and, and said let's do it. Yeah. So this is uh, as true of a production as you're, a reproduction as you're going to get. Um, it took a lot of effort to make sure the simple, even the, the most minute uh, aesthetic details were correct. Right. Um, wood hue, the studs, you know, the markings, it's tiny 
these markings and everything, rivet patterns correct. Um, so aesthetically on the outside, this one is a pure Type 56. So, uh, internally it carries the same pedigree as our other rifles, Colt Hammer Forge, Colt, Bolt Carrier, Trunnion. This one gets a stainless uh, Colt and Carrier. The question has been, um, is that still Hammer Forge? Is that still Hammer Forge? Yes, this is Hammer Forge stainless, as you see, just like our other. It's just uh, stainless instead of 414. So, um, that covers that one. We've also this year brought our uh, ARC platform. And as you can see, this one is 6.5 Grendel. So this is our 6.5 Grendel offering. Very similar to our 5.56. Uh, internally, it comes with the RPK trunnion. It comes with the same features on the magwell. Um, you know, dual method mag release. Last round bolt hold open to dysfunctional. Um, we're going to be offering this this year in uh, 300 Blackout and 6.5 Grendel. So those will be coming out very soon. Um, a lot of requests for a more accurized AK, uh, better better caliber accuracy, and uh, this is going to be it. All right. Also coming out very soon, uh, this is our crank out, AKS-74U. Uh, we're looking to release this one, trying for quarter one, but we might catch the beginning of quarter two on it. Um, we've we've kind of said we were going to have this one out for a while, and uh, it's finally ready. It's going to have, again, same pedigree as our others, Cold Hammer Forge Chrome Line, inter or, uh, Cold Hammer Forge Bolt Carrier and Trunnion. On the barrel offering, we will have, on the first iterations, the first uh, models available will be our three series, nitride and barrel. <laughs> then we will have four series, which has a Cold Hammer Forge Chrome Line in-house barrel. Right. And then eventually we will go to the five series, which has Cold Hammer Forge Chrome Line FM barrel. Um, we're also gonna do a few different calibers that we haven't yet mentioned. Uh, this, that's kind of one of the big additions for the crank out this year. Uh, we're of course gonna do the traditional 545. We're also gonna do a 556, a 762 by 39, and a 300 blackout. Nice. So, and again, part of the Soviet Arms series, this one will be, you know, a, a, a clone correct, uh, as aesthetically correct as you can get to a traditional authentic crank out. Nice. I just sent you one. All right, guys, there you go. This is the AK side of PSA. And again, make sure you guys pick this up. Again, so thank you, Colton. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, so we're here now with the uh, Palmetto State Armory's new line of ARs, the Sabre line. And we've got Justin here. He's going to give us a rundown of the new AR line. So take it away. Hey guys, um, yeah, so we're introducing Sabre, the Sabre line of rifles. It's our new line of rifles that's going to be just shy of $1,000. But the idea of it is to get a ready to go rifle out of the box that already has all the upgrades you need to do with it. And all you got to do is slap an optic on it and it's ready to go. So we're going to have two, two sets of rifles. Um, this is one of my forged ones right here. So we're going to have forged receivers as well as the billet receiver. So, um, yeah, let's go. Kirkland, Kirk, take care of it. So all the guns are going to have a couple upgrades. Um, they all get the high fire trigger with uh, JP reduced power springs. So your trigger pull should be right around three and a half, four pounds. They all get a micro vest BCG. Uh, they get Sprinko extractor strings, um, Sprinko gas rings in the bolt carrier, and Sprinko buffer springs. And then they're all going to have the Radiant Raptor charging handle as well as the Radiant uh, safety selector. And then they'll have a great pivot. Um, and then, so with this line of rifles, we're going to be introducing a couple of new things like this new rail system where it's got a time barrel nut, so you've got a really clean look and a really, really solid lock. Uh, and then we'll be introducing flash hiders as well, so this is our three prong flash hider. Um, yeah, but I have a lot of different variants on this. Um, we got short ones, we got big ones, we'll bring the front quad rail back. Uh, so we've got some quad rail guys. Um, so far, this is an example of a billet one, so you get your. Uh, Ambi bolt catch and then you got Ambi mag release as well. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that's been a lot of people's requests to have uh, Ambi Dexter's um, release. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Ambi bolt catch is a, it's a big, big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It makes life way easier. Yeah. But, uh, I'm a right handed guy, so yeah. the mag release is kind of you know, give and take, but yeah. I know lefties will like it as well. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm a right handed shooter as well, too, so, but I'm, I'm actually trying to work on switching over. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a good skill to have uh, if you ever need to switch over. But yeah, um, 
so yeah, that's that's the Sabre line of rifles. Like I say, the, the idea is to have the best out of the box gun under a thousand dollars without feeling like it's a budget rifle. Like it, it feels premium, but you get the good price. Yeah, very cool. And I'm sure you will see one of those very shortly on the uh, on the channel, so you guys can uh, be on the lookout for that. And uh, we're gonna go check out some of the pistols now and see what what kind of amazing glory is over there. All right, guys, we are over here with the pistols now from Palmetto State Armory, and we got Steven with us. Steven, thank you for uh, taking the time to talk with us, and uh, I know there's some new stuff that you guys have out and some popular stuff, so kind of give me a rundown of what you got that's new, what's popular. And, uh, okay, so everybody should be familiar with our dagger line and the way that's running right now. We have all of our upgraded features that we have, metal sights, metal guide rod, those same features we're adding into a lot of new products that are coming out. Yeah. So what are they coming soon? is our full full size dagger so a full five inch barrel four and a half inch barrel 17 link grip yep. this will be out uh, this is this will be out 2023 I don't have a date just yet but again all the same features that you yep. love about the current dagger that's new one of the other the newest to the market 2023 is our micro dagger yep. so all of the same things that you again find features on the full size and the compact dagger for metal sights slim line pistol one of the best things that we have for this is our own 15 round magazine so it's not Glock, man. It's not Glock. Okay. This is but with a plastic over-molded front where you can put, you can see, uh, we also followed, followed suit. We did an ambi release on the micro. So we listened. Everybody said they want an ambi release. Yeah. We did that. That's nice. So the feature with this is it's a plastic over-molded front. You will not need a metal mag catch to run a 15-round magazine. You be able to keep your, your stock plastic catch. Yeah. So that's the 3.4 inch version. We we'll also have a almost four inch model. So with an extended slot. I like that a lot. You've seen it. You've seen me do daggers on the uh, on the channel before, and these I love them. Yeah, they feel them. great. Yeah, they do, and they're they're great shooters. Absolutely. I mean, I just I dumped I just dumped dumped dumped, and just it, it, no issues whatsoever. So, it was amazing. So you notice no finger groove. It's a straight straight I like grip. That. I like that a lot. Yeah. Everything will come optics ready. Very cool. That's a shield cut, so okay. except the smaller, the smaller optics, nice footprints. So our new concept gun, we have a new concept gun this year. This does not have a release date yet. Okay. But this is our switch. Nice. So switch being the chassis, the fire control group is the serialized component. Right. So you'll be able to take this and drop it in a plethora of different frames and platforms that we're gonna come out that this is the host. Yeah. So as it sits currently, this is all it takes our standard dagger slides right. or any Gen 3 slides, same components, internal components. Yep. Um, and then just watch what's, what's gonna happen with this. So we're, we're famous for build your own. Yep. This is the ultimate build your own. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a game changer. Absolutely, sure. looking forward to that. So yep. that's the compact version. We have a full side version as well. And again, so different dust, dust cover lengths, different grip lengths. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, this opens up a, a ton of different options for us. So. And it's got suppressed ready optics on there. Towards yeah, so again, every, everything will come um, optics ready. Uh, and we have multiple different sites that you can, site options that you can do with it. So. Very cool. That's everything on the dagger side. Would you like to go check out the rocks? Yeah, let's go check out a rock. All right, so now we're over here with the uh, with the rocks. So take it away on this one. All right, so just like our dagger platform, and as much as we want people to be able to build their own, this is the now. This is the new rock. We are now offering frames individually, slides individual, barrels individual, so you can put your color combination of whatever you choose yeah. together. 23 round capacity, which is the highest on the market. Yeah. Optics ready. Okay. Suppressor height sights. Now we're moving into different colors. Yeah. So this is our newest slide, uh, the SW1 or the RW1. Right. RKW. RK1. That's available now. 
Okay. Fresh. About 35%. Felt less recoil than a 9mm. Okay. Uh, the same ergo grips. The grip feature as the as the dagger that yep. everybody loves. Yeah. I have a new our new Raptor slide, so this just passed uh, this just passed testing. So another customizable feature if you like the the Gucci and the fluted barrels. Yep, fluted barrels. That's not, that's nice. Yeah, we absolutely really 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 like this gun. Uh, yeah, it's a very brilliant design for yep. sure. So yeah, our engineer did a fantastic job with that. And now everything will be coming optics ready. Yep. Uh, this has a shield footprint cut. Yep. But we have a plate system that will also allow you to run an RMR or a doctor footprint. Nice. Um, doctor footprint, RMR footprint. Okay. Platform. Something that we're showing here and trying to figure out and gaining user feedback. Right. What, what does the public really want? multiple times on different platforms, uh, Facebook or forums or whatever. Yeah. Hey, how come nobody's done a compact rock? How come nobody's done a compact 5.7? Yeah. This is our, this is the first compact 5.7. Yeah. Half inch shorter grip, almost a half inch shorter barrel, just over, just over a quarter. Still this? a 20 round capacity. Yeah. 4.4 inch barrel. That's another one that we're really excited about. Uh, features that we're going to be doing for the Rock are we'll have accessories. So if you want an upgraded trigger, we're looking into doing items like that. Right. Um, fully customizable. That's nice. Absolutely. That is nice. I would carry that. That I would seems carry to that be all a day. very popular opinion right now. Yeah. So with as much with as much popularity as we've gotten with it so yeah. far, I do feel like we'll be pushing forward. Maybe trying to do something maybe this year or next year. That would be that would be fantastic. Yeah, I would absolutely, absolutely carry that all day long. Yep. One thing that's exciting too is we have our own ammo factory. Nice. And at that booth, we're showing our new 5.7 rounds. So by the end of the month, we should be in full production on 5.7 ammo, and, which is going to yeah. probably increase popularity across yeah. the board. Awesome. Well, I appreciate Scott, it, man. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, sir. All right. And as I mentioned many times go to my website dropitnation.com all the links for everything that you see here on this video will be over there because of the you know, good old youtube overlords yeah we, just, we don't like them so but they give us a platform for now so check it out drop a nation all the links will be over there thanks again appreciate yes, it thanks, this is palmetto state armory we'll see you next time